No chill, no filter. Okay, what's poppin', what's poppin', and what's poppin' again, y'all? Y'all know who I am, and y'all know what this is. Check this out, man. Y'all know what I'm here to do, so ain't no use of me doing no type of introducing and all this old type of stuff. Y'all know what it is. The Night of Champions was off the hook. I definitely liked it. I was entertained. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have to get me some more cameraman. I met some cool dudes, man. Shout out to Million, man. Um, him and his, him and his partner, man, they definitely took care of their business this evening. Um, I'm gonna talk to them, and we probably gonna get some things going. I'm not really 100% positive yet, but I definitely need that type of support, you know what I'm saying? I can't shoot myself and perform at the same time. I can't do it. So, um, you know, I, I think I made a, a, a good, a good connection this evening on some network type time. Shout out to Say Mercy. Appreciate you, fam, you know what I'm saying, for, um, booking me for this battle. So, with that being said, man, let me go ahead and just jump right off into it. First things first, it was a lit event, you know, everything was cool, um, but uh, you know what, I'm not going to even say nothing. So, okay, you know what, first things first, um, my dude, Great Britain, he had battled a female. Um, she had came, I don't know where she came from, actually. Um, I think she came from out of town. Where? South. Oh, yeah, some, somewhere. But, in any event, she actually cooked. She did pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? But, um, damn, <laughs> Great Britain. Boy, you keep on, you keep surprising me, man. You, you definitely did your thing, man. Although, you know, you... You battling your situation, man. So you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm wishing you a, a speedy recovery on that, man. I'm hoping everything goes well with you, fam. I did see the situation, man. So um, I'm hoping everything goes well, man. I'm wishing you a speedy recovery for real, for real. So, but in any event, yes, it was um, the first battle of the night was my man Britain, Great Britain versus Lyrical, um, Lyrical. Oh man, he abused you. I'm feeling Ike tonight. I was about to call the police. I was about to call the police because he he did some stuff that he he really ain't had no business doing. He didn't even have to do all that for real, for real. Two straps over the shoulders, but big scopes. Getting my Urkel on. At this cutie dope, bang it every day. Boom, boom, boom. Like it's Laura home. Let's go. But um, it, it was definitely. And it was still, it was still entertaining. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was still okay. You know what I'm saying? But you cooked, you came, took care of your business. You fought back. You know what I'm saying? Well, you fought first, and he fought back. You know, you stole on him, you hit him with a purse. For the ham, I let Harry and Potter go and magically fuck up your existence. Rain, sleet, or snow, you could survive in my conditions. So what's the use of being different? If you never made a difference, my bars. Okay. All right, all right. And he picked up a brick and he. he boom, boom, boom. You know, he kind of went to work. It wasn't even all that serious. But he did his thing and you did your thing. And I'm glad you came. And um, I'm glad you cooked. You know what I'm saying? That, that was definitely a nice battle. But um, first battle, I guess that was a surprise battle. I don't know. But that was um, Great Britain versus Lyrical. Great Britain took that. And I mean, in a crazy way. And y'all gonna see, because I mean, saying stuff like this right here. See, I didn't come here to call you bitch, ho, slut, say suck my dick and do them usual type of digs. Because I saved that for all these bitch made, dick sucking, ho ass niggas that trick off their dick, don't take care of home or help raise their kids. Talk that shit. 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 Talk that right there is, that's one of those, you know, you, you look like, man, come on, man, fam, you know, you ain't have to do all that, dog. As a matter of fact, the next time I see you battle Great Britain, you, you better, you better, man, you better do the same thing to whoever's in front of you. So, with that being said, man, second battle was a, I hear was an on-the-spot battle, as usual, with my man, um, Hood. Hoodlum took care of his business as usual, man, with them bars. But for real, for real, I ain't taking nothing from D-Nice. That dude came swinging. But he left. Dang, man, I, I wanted to get me a, a quick interview with you, fam, and, and you, but you bounced too fast. But for real, for real, um, you got you got a few of those coming. You got you got you got you, you got you, you know what I'm saying. You got a few of those coming, D-Nice. I, I 
I was I was I was entertained, man. I, I was impressed. I was definitely impressed with your performance, man. Especially going up against somebody like Hood. And of course, I do believe Hoodlum is going viral again. You know, because it is. And you know what? <laughs> that must have been a cotton picking OG, for real, because dude was not playing. He he was ready to get down with all of us because we was using that well. Hoodlum did that, and then and then Hoodlum yes. <laughs> and then Hoodlum turn around and then do this to the man. Oh, And, and that 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 was uh, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. That was yeah, that was hilarious. So you know what? <laughs> In any event, this is what's going on um, with that battle right there between Hoodlum and D Nice. Um, you know, and I'm not saying this. You know, y'all already know I ain't biased, and this ain't no politics. Now you gonna say politics? Either you hot or you not. Now, if the if the best man loses. If the best man loses, then yeah, I would say, yeah, that was politics. But this is not politics. Um, the best man won this evening, man, between uh, Hoodlum and D-Nice. I liked it, that battle, man. D-Nice definitely came swinging. He came prepared. He took care of his business, man. But he didn't have enough for Hoodlum, period. You know what I'm saying? So, after this battle, um, we had... Hold on, y'all. Y'all, y'all got to bear with me for a minute. Um, I know it was Great Britain versus it was Great Britain versus Lyrical, and then it was Hoodlum versus D Nice, and then we had Scotty Lyrical versus STP. What do I say about that battle? You know what, Scotty? You impressed me once again, man. I'm, I'm, I'm beside myself with pleasure with that one. Could you please not? Because I'm, I'm recording. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> but yeah. In any event, you know what I'm saying. That that was a that was a lit battle too. You know they was fighting back and forth. But man, do y'all believe? I, I ain't never seen this. I, I thought um, loyalty. I thought you was. It'll be a horror film, and your niggas to be on chick flick shit when the sluts be dropping. When the fire stick out, they clip too long, like, babe, what we watching? <laughs> You know what? Uh-uh. I ain't even finna do that. But yeah, y'all gonna be shocked. I'm not even gonna say nothing about it. I'm not. I'm just gonna let y'all see it. But um, lo loyalty, she she was down for her man. You know, she she came and took care of business with her man. You know, so I mean, it is what it is. You know, she took sides. She picked a side. <laughs> but it was it was hot though. I definitely liked it. Um, but between those two, Scotty man. Start, you know, when you when you breathe in, man, try try to inflate your whole chest with your lungs. Cause every time it, it takes away from your punch, man. It takes away from your it takes away from your punch when you when you when you come in with that thing, man, and then you lose you lose the I guess the, the, the velocity, you know, cause you 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 know, breathe in deeper so you can so you can project that. Quit running out of breath, man, because it's taken away from your bars, fam. If you got to, stop smoking, man, and start running or something, fam. It's just, it's killing me when you do that. It, I, I hate that, man, because it even got me sitting up there like, <sighs> my bad. I almost choked me, but you know what? But in, in any event, though, you know what? Um, I have to look at that again and... I do feel that, you know, the the, the, the the audience, the crowd, you know, they they the ones gonna actually, you know, say who they feel won that. Um, but I have to look at it again, man, because I have to actually look at both sides. But Scotty, you definitely cooked. STP, you got down. So I can't say who actually won that as of yet. But I do know that this was Scotty Lyrical in rare form. I haven't, I've seen your last battle. And of course, you know, you had a situation going on when, as you say, you got bodied by uh, Mike G. 
and he's not giving you a second chance on that so he don't want to mess with you on that so it is what it is on that but in any event i think that you know if you keep doing what you're doing and and get your wind up i think you'll be able to do a few things man i think you'll be able to do a whole lot better last but not least the two on two with we got my man my man uh larry bull larry bull and jay lopez versus mr nba and uncle sam you know what the only reason why i'm not gonna say anything um as far as i gotta get i'm, I'm, I'm giving that battle of course to uh jay lopez and larry bull not because of the the, the, well, yeah, definitely because of the bars. I'm, I'm not going to say nothing stupid that, that I'm not giving it to him because of the bars. Because I am giving it to him because of the bars. But preparedness, man. I guess you I guess you guys on the uh, the, the Uncle Sam side, man. Uncle Sam and uh, Uncle Sam and Mr. NBA, man. Y'all didn't prepare. Y'all didn't prepare. And y'all said that, you know, life happens and stuff like that. But y'all need to understand something. As life happens, everything happens. So you got to stay on top of that. You know what I'm saying? So, in any event, you know what I'm saying. When when y'all came and did y'all thing, it was just to a it was to, to a point. What? <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> okay, back back to our regularly scheduled programming. <clears throat> okay. The reason why I gave this battle over to um, the, the uh, J. Lopez and Larry Bull is because they were more prepared. The dudes came, they cooked, they took care of their business, and um, it was just one of... Uh, <laughs> it's like y'all said, okay, look, I'm going to cook this, I'm going to cook this round, you're going to cook that round, and then we both going to cook the third round. It don't really work that way unless y'all going to really, really take care of your business. Now, Mr. NBA, you got down, but you still needed that extra oomph and performance with that, that can only be given to you by your partner who you was actually doing your two-on-two -two with. So that's who you should have actually did your two. You should y'all y'all both should have got together and both of y'all should have cooked all three rounds. Not one person this round, one person that round, and then both of us this round. Because Larry Bull and Jay Lopez murdered. I'm, I'm talking about from from start to finish. So, bottom line, I gave that entirely to uh, what what man? I, I I can't even. You know what? I'm I'm gonna let him say it. Say, uh, tell him tell him who y'all was. It, it was this right here, Larry Bull. Yeah, that right there. So that that's who y'all got cooked by, man. And you know what? The next time y'all gonna do something like that, man, just make sure that y'all come prepared especially when y'all dealing with somebody i mean these dudes is they hungry man they not only hot-headed they hungry man and these dudes is ready to they ready to get out larry bull been doing this thing ever since i very first seen him and i i i, I i'm expecting a whole lot more from him and you know what and there was a lot of things that happened this evening man that that really pleased me man i'm glad that everybody came in on you know on the up on the up and up you know what i'm saying until you know this other little situation happened but you know that was you know that was kind of personal because i guess you know how ogs is you know he, he had his feelings you know and he was in his feelings and you know he, he did what he had to do i guess you know but in any event man shout out to say mercy battle league shout out to great britain Shout out to everybody that showed up because we definitely had a great time. Shout out to Million, man. That's a cold camera man, perfectionist. They in the house, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely gonna I'm, I'm definitely gonna give them what it is that they deserve, which is recognition. Hopefully we can go ahead and get some business did, man, and we can go take care of business. Speaking of taking care of business, man, it is about that time for me to pull up and pull up until I throw up. Okay, so check this out. This is big homie MC Ronski. And y'all know what it is, got the beautiful Tasha Lee with me, you know what I'm saying? Although, you know, she came to sip and dip and all this other type of stuff, but not trip, but we good, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, man, y'all done sat down, and, and this has been my recap. I'm glad y'all sat down with me, man, and kicked it with me. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And once again, loyalty, that's what you do now? 
that, that's what's going on for real. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna go off into that, but that's what you do now, huh? Okay, that's cool. Man, but in any event, man, I was entertained. I, I definitely see you doing your thing and I guess you gonna be you gonna be the next queen of the battle ring, huh? Uh, next lyrical. Yeah, some some gonna be doing something. Okay, so but in any event, this is big homie MC Ron Steve. There's no chill, no filter TV, and I am signing off. Hey.